let me greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is your brother in the Lord, the divine technician. Today we are on episode 26 of the 21 days journey of our new identity on Christ. So apologies that because of technical uh, challenges, we could not be live on radio and on Logute FM Facebook today. So that is why I'm doing it on my profile. So Bazalwane, we've been talking about men and now we have spoken about a new man in Christ, a person that has received Jesus Christ as their personal savior. What that means. And I'm going to emphasize on this, that when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is a spiritual thing. You might not see anything physical changing. You might not feel anything moving in your body. But that decision on its own, when you make that decision and say, Jesus, be Lord of my Savior, be my King, be my leader. I believe that you died for me and that you are a son of God. God sent you here to come die on my behalf. When you open your heart to that reality, and when you believe that, immediately, the Bible says it, then Jesus comes into your life, you understand? Because he is standing by the door knocking. So every time you hear a word of God preached to you, it is a knock on the door of your heart. It shows that Jesus is knocking in the door of your heart and he wants to come in. And when you open your heart and say, Jesus, come into my heart, be my Lord and be my Savior. Boom, at that moment, he goes in and you change, you become a different person immediately because of the change that takes place in your spirit. Now, let us remember that life comes from the spirit. When we read in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, it says, by faith, we understand that the whole universe was formed by God's powerful word so that the things that are seen comes from things that are not seen. So what we need to understand there is that everything visible, it comes from something which is not visible. So everything that is physical, it comes from something which is spiritual. So the influence and the source of the things that we see in and around us, this source, it comes from the spirit. And now I explained that when we are talking about the mind or the subconscious mind, the heart is the bridge between the spirit and the physical. So what that means is everything that we see manifesting in the physical, even though it originates from the spirit, but it must be permitted in the mind. Somebody has to believe it. Somebody has to embrace it in their mind. Then whatever you embrace in your mind, because your mind, your heart, it's like a ground. That's what the Bible is saying. So if there is a spiritual reality, that you embrace in your heart. Since your heart is a, it's, it's a ground, it means that reality that you embrace is like a seed. So there's a seed which is planted in your heart. So the seed, it is whatever that you believe. The fact that you believe it in your heart. So it is bound to do what? It is bound to start growing because it fell on a ground, which is what? Which is your heart. So, when you receive Jesus and when you believe what God has done for you through Jesus, when you believe it means you take that and you embrace it in your heart, which is your crown. And before you know it, there will be a manifestation of those realities. Anything that you did not put into your heart, it cannot manifest as your reality. Are we understanding? I know that some of the things, maybe we can explain it and go deeper to explain that. But understand that if you want things to happen in a certain way in your life, you need to embrace them in your heart. When you embrace them in your heart, we say, <coughs> sorry, we say you believe it. When you believe, it means you are taking it into your heart as a reality. So those things become seeds which are planted on a fertile ground, which is your heart. And sooner or later, manifestations will come. So this is what I want us to understand. Now, because you have opened your heart and you received Jesus as your Savior, you are the Son of God. Are we understanding, Basil 1? You are a child of God. You are born of God. This is not a figure of speech. No, no, it's a reality. Because John 1 um, verse 13, it says, you are not born of a will of a husband and a woman, but you are born of God. So the reality of you being a child of God you must take it serious. 
as a reality of you being a child of Spongile and Vuzi. You understand? You've got your father and your mother and you know that you are their child. So in the same way, that's how serious you have to take your relationship with God, that God is your father. As I explained, that there are things that travel through blood which affect your life. Now you need to understand that you have connected yourself to something spiritual which is above flesh and blood. Therefore, there is a reality that flows in the spirit that affects your life. And God is your father. You don't have a grandfather. So there are realities that are flowing in the line of the spirit because you are now connected to the spirit. And the sins life comes from the spirit according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. What is sin comes from what is not sin. Understand that that reality of the spirit has got power to override everything of the flesh, to override everything which is physical. Now, Bazalwani, this is what I said when I was talking about a human being. Remember that we have ex explained that when we are talking about your subconscious mind or your mind, things are put in your subconscious mind, number one, through genes, genetically. The fact that you are a child of so-and-so, there is information that is passed down and it finds you you find it manifesting without you not embracing it not aware of it but it is transferred genetically by reason of blood because you are connected to somebody secondly i explained that when somebody is pregnant the environment within because of his um because of her um um feelings and everything that is taking place in the woman that is pregnant that it transfers some information to the child that that woman is carrying so there is um there is something and programming that takes place even when a woman is pregnant because of the things that are happening around her that environment in her then it causes some effects in you then thirdly i said that when you are a baby between the age of zero to six you are in a formative stage whereby you absorb everything like a sponge every information you absorb it Whatever that you see, you become conditioned by those things. And at the end of the day, your environment, the things that you learn and what you see, it creates a program that runs your life. So understand that now the issues of life are coming from their heart, which is the subconscious mind. And now it is programmed even by information that you are not aware of. So but now, since you are a child of God, you've got an opportunity to override everything by embracing by embracing the new truth that God is your father. When you believe that and you absorb that in your heart, it starts changing your heart. It starts changing your subconscious mind. It starts overwriting the information that is embedded in your heart. There is a new reality that is created within you. So your self-image changes. Remember the Bible says, as the man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So there's a new reality that you have discovered about you and God and your relationship with God. So there's a new self-image which is now created. That new program, that is what is going to start running your life. So even the cases now that were coming through blood, through gene, but you are cursed because of your, because of your genealogy and whatever your forefathers did. The fact that there's a new reality which is above the reality of flesh and blood. Because remember, life comes from the spirit. Whatever it is that is happening, the influence comes from the spirit. The fact that you have embraced a spiritual truth, it changes everything. Then this is where all cases will be broken. This is where some of the things that were flowing by the flesh, by the blood, they start being broken immediately. Why? Because you have embraced the truth that says you are a son of God. I remember the children of Israel. Um, they sent 12 spies to go spy the land of Canaan. And when they came back with the feedback, 10 of the people, they cried, saying, these people are giants. You know, we looked at ourselves and we looked like grasshoppers. And even the way that they looked at us, it was the same as we saw ourselves. So basically, we looked at ourselves and the reality that we used, that is what was projected to the people. And they saw us in the same way. If you see yourself as a child of God, connected to God, understanding that your citizenship is now in heaven, that reality is what is projected on the outside. As the man thinketh, so is he. That is going to be your reality. 
Remember the sons of Sceva when they were trying to cast out a demon and the demons said, um, Paul we know, Jesus we know, but who are you? Now, they were questioning their identity because the demons did not know who these people were. So when you embrace a spiritual reality that you are a child of God, you are a son of God, you are now connected to God, it's a reality. When you start embracing such things, even in the spirit, that reality, it is broadcasted everywhere you go. In the spirit, that truth and that reality, it's seen and it is also felt. So you need to know that that, that is your new reality. So you see, your citizenship is in heaven. Your father is in heaven. So basically, heaven becomes your home now. You understand? That is where you belong. And when we look at heaven, or we are talking about heaven, it is a spiritual realm. It's not a physical realm that you can see with your physical eyes. But you need to believe and embrace that in your heart. Because as you do, then that reality will follow you everywhere you go. Now, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, when you read in chapter 1 and chapter 2, it says, um, Paul is talking that may God, which I pray that may God give you the spirit of revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of him. I pray that may your heart be enlightened so that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the glorious inheritance in the saints, and the unlimited greatness of his power in what and toward us who believe. Oh my God, unlimited greatness of his power that has been made available to us by faith. It says this power was demonstrated when God raised Jesus from the dead. He raised him up far above every rule, every dominion, every power, and every authority. He seated him at his right hand, and he put everything under his feet. You understand? He gave him a name that is above every name in this age and in the age to come. Now, the Bible says, when, we, when he was raised, we were raised with him. We were seated with him at the right hand of the Father. And it says, everything is under his feet. Now, the Bible says we are his body. Remember that when you are born again, you are in Christ. When Christ was raised, you were raised with him. When he was seated at the right hand of God, you were seated with him. You are seated in the hand, in the place of authority with Christ Jesus. Are you understanding? Everything is under your feet. Every dominion, every power, every rule, and every authority is under your feet. Meaning, once you receive Jesus and you are a child of God, you need to understand what is freely given to you and what this means so that you start operating on that higher dimension. When the devil is trying to throw things at you, you just look down and say, you are under my feet. You don't have authority and you don't have any power over me. Why? Because you are seated far above. You understand? You understand where you are. You cannot be touched. The devil is under your feet. I'm reminded of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. When you read that scripture, the Bible says Jesus sent his disciples to go. <coughs> Sorry. To go preach and minister. And when they came back, they were excited that demons were obeying them. They were doing deliverance. And Jesus said to them, you know what? You guys, behold, I give you power to tread upon scorpions, upon snakes and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy. Let me break that down for you. I give you power, I give you authority to tread upon snakes. Snakes, they use the head to bite, you know? And upon scorpions, scorpions, they use the tail to sting. And he says, and upon all the power of the enemy. This is what it means. I give you power to tread upon Satan from head to tail. It says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So as a child of God, listen, you've got power over the devil. He is under your feet. That is why you don't wake up at 12 and say, I am fighting Satan. You cannot fight something that is under your feet. All you need to do, you just have to stomp down. You understand? You just tread upon him because he is under your feet. When you are a child of God, this is the highest position you can ever dream of because you are God's son. You come from his loins. The creator of the whole universe recognizes you as his own. Therefore, all creation, wherever you are, when it looks at you, it bows to you because of your um, identity, son of God. Now the Bible says the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. My brothers and sisters, 
I know that there are people who are using the power of the sun or the power of the moon to bewitch us. I know there are people who are using marine spirits. Some, they take things, they go to waters to get some powers to come bewitch you. Some, they use trees and things that are in the land. Some, they are using animals. But listen, when God gave birth to you, he gave you power to tread upon snakes and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. You've got power all on the waters, above the waters. You've got power on the land. You've got power in the air. Upon everything that is created. Oh, what is man that you are mindful of him. You care for him. You have given him dominion over all the work of your hands. Listen, God has given you a position that is higher. You cannot be a victim of things that are created. Because you are a son of the creator. Everything that is created, it recognizes you. But before it recognizes you, you need to recognize who you are. You need to recognize what you have. You need to understand who you are. Understand your identity in Christ. When you know that you are the son of the all, all of the most high God, wherever you go, nature bows, things bow. And it happens only when you embrace. There is a condition. The condition is believing the word, is believing the spiritual reality. And when you believe, it's when you are embracing this reality. My brothers and sisters, let me not take too long. As I said, that I'll be taking about 15 minutes. If you've got a question and you want me to clarify some of the things, please make sure that you put in the comment section or you can send me a WhatsApp message on 072-494-3555. So if you send me a WhatsApp message and ask you and ask any question, on episode 30, on the 30th of this month, January, I'll be dealing with all the questions. So I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to bring clarity where necessary. But you know what? Know and understand that you are the son of the Most High God. Please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel so that you can get all the clips when we put them there. The whole series, you can find it there from, from episode one to the, um, to the latest. So brothers and sisters, thank you. May God bless you, children of the Most High. May God uplift you. May you start to walk upon snakes and upon scorpions. May you start to exercise your authority. May you understand that even when you pray, you don't even fight the devil, but you embrace the reality of who you are. You are way above. You can't be fighting things that are under your feet. So please understand your identity, even as you are um, going to sleep. Make sure that you embrace, and when you sleep, you embrace that you are a child of God, a child of the king is sleeping. Understand that there are angels that are ministering, taking good care of you. Because if the president of our country has got bodyguards and all his family is well protected, listen, you are highly defended. You are protected. Just realize who you are. And sleep like a king and say, I'm a child of the most high God. There are angels taking good care of me. There are no witches. There are no demons. There are no devils that are going to torment me at night because of who I am. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.